Hey guys, so it's my first day with my hair extensions. <laughs> I'm such a dork. But look at it. Ah, it's so cute and long. Look at that. Fantastic. Now I can finally curl my hair again. There's a dog on the deck. Yes, there is. And as soon as I take him out, I have short hair again. So I'm so excited. This will hold me over until my real hair actually grows back. Okay, so today... Um, I did my workout, Rob went to work, and then it was like 7.15, 7.30, and I was getting ready in my office, and I heard this noise on the porch, and I was just about to put my contacts in, and so I kind of like peeked out there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a coyote on my porch. That's what I thought it was. It's a dog. Yes, I know, honey. Well, here, it's not a coyote. It's a little doggy. Look at I know. He's so cute. And he's out there laying on the deck right now. Um, I still don't like dogs. I like other people's dogs, and they're cute, and blah, 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 but they stink, and they shed, and they lick your toes, and it's disgusting. And they're wet me so, all the time. Yes, they do lick you all the time. And I'm in the boys' room, by the way. Can you see? Christopher and Ryan. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I'm playing. That's what they're... That's what their room looks like. So, um, yeah. So this little devil is currently testing my resolve on no dogs because, oh, it's so freaking cute. And it listens so well. Like, I was just kind of like, what do I do? So I made it some food and I made it like rice and veggies because I don't have dog food. And then I gave it some water, and then I was like, okay, well, maybe it's just sticking around me because I fed it. So I open up the back door, and I'm like, okay, run away. Go on. Go back to where you came from. And I, like, kicked it out and closed the door, and I came back five minutes later, and it was still sitting there. And it's a little dog, so I felt bad. I'm like, crap. Like, I would feel terrible if this thing gets hit by a car, you know, because the road is right in front of our house. So, I put the gate up on our patio, which it doesn't matter because it doesn't leave anyways. Um, but I put the gate up just so that the boys couldn't, you know, touch it when they were outside because it's gross. It does, I don't know where it's been. So, And I just don't want to give it a bath right now. We'll see. So, I made some signs and they say, like, found a dog. Um, please provide a detailed description of your missing dog when you call this number. Just that way, you know, somebody's not like, oh, hey, free dog, and then they come and take it when it's somebody else's dog. I would feel bad. So, yeah. Currently have a cute little pooch sleeping on my porch, and <sighs> I hate to say it, but it's really growing on me. So I almost wouldn't be that sad if its owners never turned up. But I don't want to get too excited, so we'll just, we'll just, uh, See what happens. We'll just play it by ear. Okay, so that's about it. Do you want to see his picture one more time? Just because he's so cute. Let me find it. And I don't know. I was thinking, if we did keep it, of naming it, like, Zane. Kind of because I think that's the German number for 10. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. And plus it's the 10th of September. So that's what I'm temporarily calling him. Is Zane. <laughs> He's okay. Anyway, so we'll see. So I just wanted to show you what's currently sleeping on my porch. Yeah, maybe I'll do a video later. I just don't want to get too attached to him. So, yeah. Anyways, that's about it. I will uh, I will keep you updated on that whole situation, let you know if anybody calls, or if we have a new addition to the family. <laughs> okay, bye.